It's pretty thick, it's pretty healthy. <laughs> Drink that in. We've had a few, haven't we? This <laughs> Just stuffed myself with curry. We're using a tripod now. Check this out. Got a tripod on the go. How's it going? It's Friday. It's vlog time. It's the beginning of the weekend. Friday's become a sort of to-do list day for me. Uh, I cut the grass every Friday at the moment. Grass is growing so well. If there are any of you out there that know that you know your way around a lawn, I'm quite new to the whole experience to be honest with you. The last, the last lawn we had just died a very slow death because I couldn't be bothered with the upkeep but um, I'm trying really hard this time with this new lawn and it's looking pretty good it's pretty thick it's pretty healthy but obviously if you've got I assume if you've got healthy grass then it's healthy for other things to grow in it as well and we've got a couple of dandelions and stuff like that that are popping up that are getting on my nerves and I've been looking into it and you can buy like just which on the box sounds really simple just an all-in-one feeder kills moss kills weeds, helps your grass. But I think there's a bit more to it than that. You need, I think you need to have a little bit more experience. I think because I've read up on it and sometimes this stuff can turn your grass black if you use too much or if you don't use enough. Or I'm a bit scared to start going down that road, but I'd love to, you know, I feel like now's a good time, sort of springtime to get the grass fed. And I think it would be, I think the grass will look pretty good. Anyway, enough about me boring you about my lawn. Uh, it is Friday, it's the start of the vlog. We've got quite a busy weekend. Uh, Claire is out at the moment. I believe she's doing some food shopping, which, uh, as you know, is my favorite time of the week. She'll be back soon. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. It'd be really nice, really nice if you could. By the time you watch this, it will be Wednesday. Let us know, what did you get up to over the weekend? We like to, hear, we like to know about these things. And if, in fact, if you've got any questions or anything that you wanna, uh, any messages you wanna get across to us, stick them in the comments. We read them all. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Three things I need, for you, I need from you. Claire's back. I'm back, baby. Not a huge shop, so not super exciting, but I'll tell you what was exciting was the price. Oh my God, change the record. Listen. Oh. Fridge is open, Claire. I got this little serving tray. Thought that was nice. It's groovy. That is groovy, isn't it? Right. I thought this was really nice. Roasty. Yeah. I like the colour. This is from Habitat, because in Sainsbury's they've got Habitat. I just thought that was nice for my patates. You went to Sainsbury's today? Yes, James! That's where I was. It was closer. Relax. Someone thinks we're running between us, money still. See, so yeah, you know, where's all the fun stuff? Oh my God, shut up. How cute, how nice are these though? Right, let's start putting it away. Uh, pasta. Oh, are you? Did you get flour? You've been promising us all some spaghetti carbonara at some point. I did get flour. God. By my side.
Problem? <laughs> I never say what? Oh. Go on. This will be good. Once, this will be good. Let's go on. Once we put all this stuff away, I need you to give me a lift to the garage. Oh. The mum mini. My mini's ready again. For how long? For how long this time? Where'd you get this chicken from? There's a chicken shortage. I don't know what you're talking chicken, about. Chicken, chicken, well. There was loads of chicken. Well, you obviously don't read the British press, Claire. Very, very extreme chickens, chicken shortage. <laughs> oh my God! Tomatoes, cheese and avocado. Because uh, the chicken shortage. One of the biggest suppliers in the UK had a salmonella outbreak. Okay. And now you can't, now chicken is worth more than gold. Right, well, there was plenty in Sainsbury's. You've got to taste the difference, Ham. Yeah, that's the one Harrison likes. Yeah, but I like the cheap stuff. Well, well, it's all slippery and slimy. Oh, with big white bits in it. Yeah, I love it. <coughs> oh my God. What's the plan today then? Um, what are we doing? We've got to get your mini. All right, I've got to get my mini. Then I've got um, some stuff I need to pick up from the dry cleaners. Then, um, He's so posh, isn't he? I've never took anything to a dry cleaners. Uh, there's a couple of pieces, a couple of items of clothing that I like to be looked after. Pieces? Then I've got school run. Yeah. And then this evening, I'm live on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Doing a stream this evening. Yes! Means I can get peace. With so uh, with Sorry? With Suggy? With Suggy? The Sug Man. Big Sug. The Sug Meister. Shug the slug. Sug on this. Sug the big one. <laughs> Sug oh, my oh. balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh dear. God, you guys, you two, you just bounce off each other, don't you? You're just in sync. Dog. Dog. Dog bits. Dog. Yeah. That's not dog, that's my Zaflora. Oh, but it's got a picture of a dog on it. Yeah, it's because she stinks but every time you take her out a walk. Why do you put that little rim around the coffee and then you can't get the last few bits out? Because I hate you, Claire. I've got a question for you, people that own dogs. Do you think your house smells of dog? This is a t this really terrifies us. We're worried that our house smells of dog. But we don't know. But we know. don't know because we're used to the dog smell. Yeah. And she does. She, she can't. Can, she can kick up a bit. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Well, we don't. Yeah. Well, we've never seen anyone. Do no, that. we've never seen them to do that. But what if they? What if that's what they, What if they leave? People are leaving our house and they're going. Their that's house stank of oh, dog. Oh no! That terrifies me. We don't me. know. Well, they, here's what I will say. Her bed is in the playroom. Yeah, a rolled always. one. And it's not that old. We got it uh, just before Chute and Glen oh, yeah. to take her because we wanted to get a nice one. Old, so. <laughs> but when I go into the boys' playroom, sometimes I can it smells a bit doggy. I can smell it a bit. I, I do spray it and I've I've cleaned it. I, cle we're clean. I had it I had it out there the other oh, week. We clean people, but you, but you just don't know, do you? No. It very well could stink in here. Because I've been in houses and I go. This stinks, yeah. There's a yeah. dog here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, they better be. <laughs> but they might just be. They might think they're clean. They might, they might sit here and go, we're clean people. Well, I mean, they'll be clean all the time. We're always. Ah. Uh, Dead Well, we'll never know. It's a big bother. It's a big worry. <laughs> what if we smell like dog? I know. What if we go out? Yeah. We don't go out. We don't see people. That's not a problem. <laughs> people don't come here. In fact, the whole conversation was pointless. Doesn't matter. Let us let us know in the comments if you think we smell of dog. <laughs> so um, I'm a little bit crazy work top lady these days, but I heard this method. This isn't an ad or a sponsor or anything. Just let you know. Well, don't I was mention it. They're not paying us. <laughs> I was looking up. Don't um, give free advice. Shush, man. I was looking up some of the best ones to get little marks and stuff. Because, I mean, there's a little mark there. Well, here we go. Let's test it. It's like a little. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, 
I heard that the purple method, they're all different colours, but I kept reading that this one's good, so I'll let you know. Or if you know of a better one, let me know because this does. I'm, I'm, I follow people around wiping it, I'm one of the annoying people. I like this. This is what it literally says on the bottle. For shiny surfaces that smell good enough to lick. That smell good enough? That smell good enough to lick. Well, that's a silly thing to put on a cleaning bottle. Oh, what if a kid saw that and could see lick? It's non-toxic, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, with non-toxic plant-based power green technology. Spray that, see that wee mark? Mm. And that. You smell good enough to lick. You don't. You smell like dog. <laughs> I need to. I need to get this. Uh, mini. Mini. I told him I'd be there an hour ago. All right. Let's go. Am I? Oh, so I need to take you. Yeah. Boom, it's Saturday. We're at the uh, suit, suit shop? Suit store? I don't know. Just had a couple of mimosas to, to kick the day off. Which is a nice little 10 a.m. mimosa. Brilliantly rebranded. I'd call it a Bucks Fizz, but mimosa sounds much more fancier. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good, let's face it. Got a nice little Fred Perry shirt on. Enjoy that, drink that in. Now I'm gonna get measured up and uh, try on a little suit and uh, I feel like a standing in the middle of a road vlogging. Still not used to it. A little bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not bad. You look like after the event at the moment, but I like it. Casual, it's got a bit cash. I need to I need to buy some more I think I look good in a suit. You look good in a suit. I need to buy more really suits. Suit. I need to own more than two suits. Right, that's the suits fitted. That took about 45 minutes. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon, which means we're spending the, the rest of the day drinking and eating, which is gonna be a lot of fun. We're heading to barbecue now, John. We've had a few, haven't we? Yeah. I, at one point, I had three drinks at the same time. I had a beer, champagne, and wine. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go and get some barbecue now. James, when you say barbecue, what do you mean? Well, a friend of ours, Jay, yeah. Yeah. has managed to arrange for us. That they've sent someone from Traeger, is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've sent Traeger. people from Traeger to come cook some food for us. So. Can't wait, mate. It's going to be amazing. We're looking. We're, we're leaving our first. Uh, well, our second, our third yeah. place. Yeah. Our, our third. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we're heading now to for some barbecue and for some beers. Yeah. They're all. Je they're all jealous of me because I've got a good barnet. They, they, they won't stop going on about it. We've got a barnet. It's not a wig. It's not a wig. It's all me, baby. Your baby. You can grab it if you want, but it would. You know, first of all, it would mess me hair up. But secondly, that's. I messed that up. I've got. <laughs> Honestly, how could you mess that hairdo up? This is this. Oh, God, you must go in the hairdressers and go. Look, mate, are you a trainee? This. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's the kind of respect I get here. Uh, <laughs> I'll see. You, I'll see you at the barbecue. All right, here we go. So we're uh, about to enjoy some lovely barbecue. Tra we're enjoying Traeger Day, aren't we, John? This You've is gotta this, love Traeger Day. This is the young man who's getting married. Uh, we've got some chicken. What, what was that? Those balls we just had. Oh, we got some here. We got some here. Here we go. There's a couple left over. Look at that. Mm. Mm. We'll, oh, they are amazing. Beautiful. I just hope they've all got some sunscreen on. All right, leaving now. What time is it? It's quarter past nine. My God, hey, absolutely crazy. Uh, heading home now, I'm hammered. Been drinking since 10 o'clock this morning. 
almost 12 hours of drinking. It's been it's been my perfect Saturday. I have got to be honest. There's been booze. There's been barbecue. Going. To, I'm going to be going home now. And as soon as I get home, I'll be in bed. It's been a blinder. Absolutely blinding. John, how are you feeling? Blinded. Amazing. <laughs> We've had a great day. Yeah, amazing. Can't get out the barbecue centre. I nearly swore. Well, we can live here. Yeah, look, look at this. this. We got. Go on, John. Go and lay it down. Set yourself up now. Hang on a minute. Tomorrow we'll wake up, we'll carry on the vlog, and hopefully it'll be more coherent and make more sense. All the best. Sunday, as again. Oh man, got myself a little Barocca to start the day. <coughs> I do not feel in tip top condition this morning, I'll tell you that much. Luckily enough, we've got no uh, big jobs that need to be done today. All we've got to do is a little bit of homework with the boys this evening for school tomorrow and uh, just chilling out. So I'm going to drink my Barocca, hopefully feel a little bit better, and then I think, I'm not sure what Claire, unless Claire has other plans, of course, uh, I think I'll spend the day hanging out with Claire, watching some crappy television or crappy films. What you got, Judd? French toast. Huh? French toast. We don't French have any toast. sugar. No, I don't have any. Um, is it called ice and sugar? So you're gonna have to just use and set up today. Uh huh. What's Dad doing out here? <laughs> is he vlogging how hungover he is? He's checking the footage from last night, make sure he hasn't done anything too embarrassing. How's breakfast? Good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Sunday morning. And you're watching TV on the fridge. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, well, well. Look who's finally <coughs> reared his ugly head. I had to have a little nap. How are you feeling? I feel all right. <laughs> Did you nearly throw up there? No, I've just just stuffed myself with curry. We've just devoured a little curry, and I said to James. Because I've been editing today. This is l l genuinely the first time I've seen him since he made that Barocca. Two minutes ago for you guys, but it was many hours ago for me. I said to him, alright, now that we've finished eating, we'll sit down, we'll do a little outro, a little we'll say bye, we'll have a little chat. James went, no. no. Oh no, Claire. No. Claire, I don't think I can do it. So Claire can grab the camera. <laughs> but also, believe it or not, we do like to try and put some energy and, and you know... Effort. Effort when we're on the camp. I just don't have any energy. You've got nothing, mate, do you? You've got nothing. I sp I've spoiled it for myself. You've ruined it. You've ruined it for yourself and all of us. By the way, let me just say, I don't think this camera is focusing that well. I think John I has. don't think it's focusing that well either. I think. So, last night, John was holding the camera, filming James, and he managed to drop it. So we might have to use the other one for a while. Yeah. I've got a question, and this is a weird question. This might be one of those questions that I've put out there. I'm just going to have a bit of pop it on. Go on. I might put this question out there and everyone just goes, nah, you're on your own there, mate. Nah. Okay. Does anyone get, like, after you've, like, had a night or a day of drinking, like, quite a bit of alcohol, mm. the next day, do your fingers feel tingly? Sort of pins and needly. Okay. I don't know, I think it maybe kind of affects people in different ways. Yeah, the, the circulation or something, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I mean, everybody... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm all right, I'm OK. You OK? Sure? Um, but I've been watching Mythic Quest on wow. Apple Plus. Apple Plus TV. Is that what it's called? Apple Plus TV? I don't know. I, I, know, that, I know that this looks really bad, though. It looks really fuzzy. It does, does it? Yeah. Should we call it that? Yeah, no, this is really fuzzy. 
Sorry, we'll have to hear about Mythic Quest another time. It's just, I like it. Thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Sorry I'm not firing on all cylinders for the outro. Which you, you, when, you, when you watch these, there's a certain standard that you guys expect. And we're not reaching that this week. Oh, Lord. It um, must be really bad then. We're doing some... We've got a busy week yeah, this week. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing something quite interesting next yeah. week. Yeah. So, we're we've do- been offered our first job as a duo, yeah. I would say. Yeah, we're doing some glorified presenting, I guess yeah. it's called. Yeah. Um, we'll fill you in next week about yeah, that. So make sure you check it out. It's a new experience, again. Well, the new Holly and Phil. Really strange, weird offer. Just come from nowhere. Just like, oh, do you fancy doing this? Yeah, like, it was, and also it was really last minute. So I reckon the people that they wanted to do it pulled out, pulled out. and then their second and third choice wasn't available. Wasn't available but and then they thought they'll be. They're not. Well, they won't be doing anything. They're not will doing they? anything. Cut the fee in half and ask them. <laughs> Exactly. But, so we, you know, something that we've never done before. Don't know if we'll be any good at it, but we, you know. We'll get a bash. Know. It's all about being open to stuff, isn't it, sometimes? Yeah, we'll get a bash. Right, say bye. Bye. Stay scummy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>